going today so yeah I uh, made a video plan to go up for today and uh, ended up uploading the wrong one but the thing is the original video that was gonna go up today got deleted on my computer I was gonna upload it to YouTube today I forgot about it so, so I was gonna go do that well, I couldn't find the fucking file. The damn video, so I'm making a new one now. And I got a cat stuck in the damn tree. Oh, he'll figure it out. But, uh... Yeah. Just got done hauling some, uh... Powdery shit. It smells just fucking green, though. Went and hauled that into the North Garden, or the South Garden, and, uh... Yeah. Went and got one load of dirt yesterday. Need to go be getting more than that, but fuck. So got a few things here to discuss about, and I figured, well, I'll do this part now because uh, only this is mostly this is the important thing, I guess, for the viewers. Um, I did make a video on it, but uh, for some reason that one got deleted, and I couldn't find the freaking video, so I'm making a new one now. And my cat got down too, by the way. Yeah, you finally got down. It's being freaking chased. Yeah, big mouth, quiet. Talking over my videos, programs. He runs. <laughs> Little retard. But yeah, so I'm proud to make this video again now. Um, to all of my subscribers that would like a new sticker from me. Um, well, they they're not going to be here for. Yes, I made some stickers. Okay. Um, they're not going to be here until probably next week sometime. Or I ordered them yesterday, early in the morning. So, I don't know if they were able to ship them at all today or anything. If they're still making them, I don't fucking know. I, I, but I only ordered um, 10. So, if there's more than 10 people that want stickers, well, the other remaining amount are going to have to wait a while. Um, but I only ordered 10 for right now. So, I guess to whoever wants a sticker, uh, PM, PM me your address either on YouTube or on Facebook if you have an account there or not, whatever. If you're, I guess if you follow me or whatever, PM me there. And, uh, I will try to send one out as soon as possible. As soon as they get here. So, yeah, made some stickers. Um, I don't know how exactly they're going to turn out, but if they're going to turn out, like, high quality or not, um, we'll find out. And, uh, I'm going to do a little test here. I haven't ran those lights in a long time. I got my shop lights on or my work lights outside. I haven't ran those things all fucking summer. I wonder if they're still kicking. That's what they are. Yeah. Those are the work lights and then above that's my security light. I don't know if you can be able to see this or not. Probably not. But uh, that van right there since I got that light on the light's reflecting off that, that tail light. <laughs> it's actually it's reflecting off quite a few of the vehicles. It's interesting. I haven't ran those lights all summer. So, maybe I'll let them run for a little bit just to see how they're going. Those light, those bulbs that are in there now used to be in this light. But I took them out and I put these standard bulbs in. Um, I think these are actually brighter. Well, they're supposed to, I think they're about the same as what those are, really. Um, I swapped them around, so. Plus, these bulbs here, the ones outside, actually have a lot more hours on them than this one does, so. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, if anyone wants a sticker, um, PM me your address. You won't get them anytime like, soon, soon. 
you guys will probably see this video tomorrow, or maybe in Sunday, I don't know, but, uh, <clears throat> we'll see, but, uh, we'll see at some damn point. The video that, the video that just went up actually today was actually of the, of the 1086 bail and hay. That was supposed to go up Saturday, but that video just apparently disappeared and it could, I could never fucking find it, so... Sometimes I make mistakes and I either delete them or I move them into the wrong file and I just can't find them, I guess. I don't fucking know. But I have a file named YouTube Videos. And that's where I put my videos that I've edited. I put them in that playlist or in that, that folder so I can find them. I don't know what the hell ever happened to it, but it's gone. So I'm redoing it. So I'll try to shove it. I got a picture of it too, so I'll try to shove a picture in here. Um... If you want to see what it looks like, and if you want one, let me fucking know. PM me your address either on YouTube or on Facebook. Make sure you PM me though. Don't leave it as a stupid comment because, well, to be honest with you, if you do, that's your problem because your personal information is being leaked out. You know, I shouldn't have to really delete it just because you guys are stupid to not figure it out. But you know, whatever. I don't think a lot of you guys are that stupid to do that. But you know, you never know. I've seen stupider shit on YouTube, to be honest. But yeah, just don't leave it as a comment. Unless you don't give a fuck. So. But yeah. So, PM me. Either on Facebook or PM me on YouTube. And, and I'll send one out to you as soon as I get them. And I'll make a video on letting you guys know when I send them out. So. That way you guys kind of... Because I'm most likely going to be sending them through the mail. So most likely they're going to, it's going to probably take a little, eh, it doesn't take too long though. Because I've sent a few stickers in the past and it's usually just, 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 just a few days. So, but unfortunately if I send them out on, on a Thursday, let's see if I get them next Thursday. Yeah, they're probably not going to move a lot, but they'll move some I guess. Some is better than none, I guess. So... Yeah, so that's it on the stickers. Uh, I got stickers coming. Hope you guys will like them. If not, kiss my ass. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, this one, this part now, because I'm done talking about stickers. So if you want to skip this video now, you can. But if you want to continue to watch, go ahead. But anyways, you guys know that I plan on getting a loader for my tractor. Okay, I found one over there. Um... The problem with that loader, one is that it needs it needs all new hydraulic hoses. They're all basically shot. I think I might have found maybe one that was of some good, but the rest of them are shot. They got cracks in them, and once you get cracks in your hoses, you're just increasing the chances of being sprayed with hydraulic oil. So I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna have to get new hoses, which I know are gonna cost quite a bit because they're gonna also need need couplings too or whatever. The thread on part, whatever the hell it is. So, anyways, I went there that one day to look at the loader. I actually got to look at it hands on. Um, I think I actually talked about that in that one video, but yeah, I went there and went and looked at it. And it was a pretty good loader. It did have some damage done to it, it was down by the buckets there. I'm not, I don't even remember now if it was part of the bucket or if it was actually part of the loader. I'd have to look again, but. Because fuck it, if it's the, just the bucket, I could probably just get rid of the bucket then, but... I don't remember now, but the bucket was an 84 inch, so it was pretty damn big, but... Um... Yeah, I mean, it, besides the hoses, it had the, the... The farmer welds done to it there on the bucket mount, or... The mount that hooks to the loader... Well, the bucket hooks to that, I guess, so there, there's a mount there or whatever. That's, I think it's just kind of a pin-on. Kind of a cheapy thing, but it works. Well, it's probably not cheap. It's probably hell up better than what today's loaders are, but... I mean, there's only two things wrong with the loader. And I like the loader. Because it's a high lift. This brand of loader, they made two models. There was just a standard loader, and there was the high lift. The high lift went high. It went, it went higher than the normal one did, so... You can still find those loaders today. They just don't, I don't think they call them the high lift anymore. It, it's just standard now for some. Um, 
I think the self-leveling loaders, they go higher than the regular ones, I think. I don't really know, but self-leveling loaders are pretty nice to have. But anyways, the, the guy's selling the loader. He said that he would sell the loader, you know, if I just wanted the loader, because I don't want the damn tractor. Well, yeah, the loader, he wants 4000 for the fucking loader, okay? And it's going to probably be who knows however much for... To put the damn to take the loader off his off his tracker and put it on the mine. Well, he thinks for a ten hour drive it'd be about five hundred bucks. I know it's not gonna take him some it's not gonna take him some damn ten hours, but fucking hell they're they're gonna probably sock it to you. So yeah. So I don't know what to do. I know one guy said to to maybe just buy the loader and put it on yourself. Well, there's the thing there where getting it here is going to be the problem. And then unloading it from the semi or whatever. That's going to be a problem. So I have no choice but to let them do it. So. So I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably either going to try to talk the guy down on the price. Because I'm, there's no way in hell I'm paying 4000 for a fucking loader. That's just ridiculous. I, I told my friend that, the guy that was here bail, bailing hay, he says they shouldn't be going for that. He says, he says, you should, they should be going, the lowest, they should go is maybe 2500 all the way up to maybe 3500 They want 4000 for it, so, and then plus labor to put it on. So you're talking 4500 bucks for a fucking loader. So I'm either going to try to, Talk them down on price, or I'm going to have mother do it. Since mother's a girl, and you know how men are with women, so maybe since she's got the sweet voice, maybe he would lower the price for me. Even though I'm the one buying the fucking loader, but I'm not a blondie, so I'm not a girl, and I'm not a blondie, so yeah, I'm not going to get a discount. <laughs> but mother is, so maybe she can talk them down a little bit if she wants to I guess I don't know because it's you know 4,000 for a fucking loader and 500 for in installation or installing it on my tractor it's just fucking it's just nuts but I, I probably wherever the tractor's sitting at right now I'm going to see if maybe if he'll have a loader sitting on the fucking lot that I can buy off him for cheaper uh, they might give me a deal since I'm buying a tractor from them. They might give me a deal on the loader, you know, if I could find one there. So when I go down there to look at that tractor, I want to talk to him about loaders too. And see if they have one for sale. Um, or if maybe they can give me a discount on one or something. Um, there's one thing I would like you guys to do. But I don't want to tell you what to make the model of my tractor is. But it's some, apparently some people I already fucking know, so... What good it does to keep it a secret, I don't know. And, uh, just a quickie here. I'm not doing the contest. I'm canceling the contest because apparently there's a lot of people are knowing what I'm buying. How they're knowing, I don't know. Hacking my computer, probably. So, because they can't mind their own fucking business like I do. I don't go looking on everyone else's computer seeing what the hell they're looking up. So, I mind my own fucking business. So... I don't give a fuck whatever people do online. So, but, yeah, I don't know if if it would do any good to, or, there's one company I'm looking at right now, they're, they sell orders for these fucking things, but it's not, it's not what I, it's not, you know, the same brand as what the tractor is. So, but they're most likely going to want more because they're new. So, to all the people out there that know what kind of tractor I'm getting, um, maybe try to find me a loader for it. I think one guy already knows where I live, so, well, it's actually just a couple of them that know. So if you know where I live, if you know where I live, find me a damn loader for sale here. Because I sure in the fuck can't find them. Um, was one of them. There's obviously one that I know of, but fucking hell. You know, $4,000 is, is just too much for that damn loader. It's not worth it. I don't think it's worth it. It's worth more like three thousand. Because, you, because, well, you know, I'm going to explain it too, or my mom can explain it. That the hoses are shot, and there's going to probably be about a thousand bucks worth of hoses right there. 
which I mean, I'm going to do that over the winter months, but I need the money to do it. Or I might even just do them all at once. So my grandma said, well, you could probably do it there too. I was like, yeah, but they'll charge you, they'll charge you for it. Or I could just run the fucking Napa. They could make me the hose and the couplers and I could slap it on myself. It can't be that damn hard to put a damn hose on a loader. Let's just fucking thread it on, on both ends, so it's not that big of a deal. Make sure you take the pressure out first. Which means shut the tractor down and then move the lever back and forth. You know, like on, I can do that on the John Deere, right? Because if the mower decks up, I can just move my remote and it, it'll release the pressure. So like if I had a loader on this thing or snowblower or whatever, it'll, you, you move these levers, put the machine off, it'll release the pressure and then your attachment will drop to the ground. Just make sure no one's standing under it, like a loader. You know, like if you got a loader on it, don't stand under it. Unless you're a stupid ass. But, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I want a better deal with that fucking loader, though, because that, that's ridiculous. You know, and then the loader's got, uh, does have problems, you know. I mean, it's got the hoses. The hoses are, are shot. Um, the mount for the bucket, I think it is. That's been broken. That's been welded on. How many times it's been welded on? I don't know. Probably it looks like it may have been just welded once because it's not all hacked up there. But it's got at least one good set of farmer welds on there. So, and to have that part replaced, I don't think you can. You'd have to have it custom made by a goddamn um, metal shop. Well, you know what? They're going to charge to do that. Never mind paint it. Well, I can paint it myself, but. Just go to go to Case IH and get a couple of cans of internet or red paint, whatever the fuck it's called. So <clears throat> let's get some paint, I guess, and paint it. Screw it. I fucking hell with it because they're shot anyway, so yeah, I still have the work lights running, I'm just giving them a a test. They are pushing out some good heat though. Yeah, does pretty good. Does better than my security light, but security light does both the same anyway. So, but yeah, so if you guys can find a damn loader for the tractor, let me know. I'm looking on Tractor House. Not sure what loaders fit to what. I, mean, I guess they would explain it, but there's one brand that I'm looking at right now. And see, the thing is that their loaders are not what I want, but I mean, they're new. But again, they're new. So, meaning it's going to be more expensive and to. Getting in here is going to be a bitch. So what to do? I don't know. I mean, I'm... No matter what, I'm going to go talk to this guy anyway what, that's got my tractor. And, and see if he's got a loader for sitting there on the lot that I can buy off him for cheap. He might give me a discount since I'm buying... Since I'm buying something from him. You know, usually they'll give you kind of a deal sometimes. But, I don't know if I'm stuck paying that 4500 bucks for a damn loader. It's going to put a lot of, it's going to put a damper on a lot of other stuff I need to get fucking done too. So, I don't know what to do. The price is a, is a rip off. Did you know I can go buy a, uh, a Farmall 400 for less than that with a loader? Damn right I can. So, I was actually looking at one. For quite a while I was looking at one. It was, I think it was actually a Farmall 450. And it had had a good loader on it. They only wanted like 3000 for it. Now, mind you, they'd probably be like 1000 bucks worth of shipping. But, you know what? It's still a better deal. Because, you know, I'm getting a double double bonus there. I'm getting a loader and a fucking tractor. But, meaning the, you know, the tractors are really weak on power. So it would be a damn good raking tractor, but I already have a 400, so I can make that a raking tractor. Even that little farm OB would be a good raking tractor, but. So, yeah. Um, grab my water. I've been out hauling, been out hauling shit. So, I, I always carry my water jug, and now I've been carrying a, carrying a jacket with me, because it's getting fucking chilly out now at nights. So, i got to carry that with me now. So, but yeah, 
So to the people that know what kind of tractor I'm getting, find me a loader. Find me a good loader. That's not that, that's not beat the shit and that's cheap. But again, I might try to talk this guy down too, because I ain't paying that. Um maybe if it was new, you know, I'd pay that, or if it was newer. That's a nineteen eighties. Apparently from what he said it was nineteen eighties. So it's an old it's an older loader, it's damn thing's thirty years old, so Just because it's, you know, it doesn't have a lot of wear on it doesn't mean you can charge a fortune for it. Because you got to go buy what the market is and, and you know, what Tractor House kind of goes. You know, Tractor House sells their stuff for, I think, a little bit cheaper than normal, but, you know. I don't know. I think it's just a ripoff. What time is it? Oh, 20 minutes already. So, yeah, I don't know. I think they they could lower the price. You know, I'm either going to have mom do it, you know, she'd probably be better at it than, than me. So, either, her, either she'll do it or I'll do it, but... Because you got to remember too, it needs new hoses. And then I got to get... Um... Might, might have to fix that bucket issue too, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to fare under load. I guess it would fare okay, but... You know, digging dirt's going to be the worst part of it. But I want to use the loader um, yeah I want to use the loader this winter for moving snow so yeah kind of kind of need it running a little bit so and then my my friend said too that finding attachments for it might be a little bit tricky but he says that you can there's a, apparently a company that does make them um, but you have to make your own brackets to make them fit, so that's not going to do much good either because, you know, when it comes to, say, wanting to put bale spears on your loader and you have to custom make brackets to hold them together, you know, you need at least half-inch steel or a little bit, maybe a little bit thicker than 3 8 I think. I don't know exactly how thick 3 8 is, but you need pretty thick metal to to be able to take the, take the abuse that you're going to be giving it, so in my welder... I think when it does three sixteenths, so you know, uh, I don't know. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a bitch to try to get this loader to work, but you know what are you gonna do? But at least I can do use it for snow removal. So at least I'll be able to uh, get some of the snow load off of Big Red. Cause I want, I'm I mean for the light stuff, you know, Big Red's fine, but when you get that heavy shit. You need something with more balls, so I think the loader might be good for that. But there's another another nice tractor sitting over there. That's for sale too. They want thirty four grand for the fucking thing, which is not worth it either because it's got eighty three hundred hours on it. It's four wheel drive. I think it's a it's a Case IH uh, fifty two forty. I think it was. 1990, 1994 model. That's not a half bad tracker though. But you know, and that that tracker would be perfect in a way because it's got a loader, it's got a bucket, and apparently it comes with a bale spear. So I was like, holy fuck, that'd be perfect. But hell, I ain't paying thirty four grand for that. That's just no way. They need to bring that down to maybe like twenty. Or 15 maybe, because fuck. They're talking about a tractor that's got, you know, almost 8,500 hours. And and you know, what's funny too is that they rate their tractors, you know, for condition. You know, they have a 1 through 5 star. This tractor got a 3 star. So, it's not in, it's not, it's got a brand new seat, so I think that's why the rating went up a little bit. They put a brand new seat in it, but... Um, that tractor had a couple things wrong with it too. Um, a couple of the lights were knocked out of it, which is not a big deal. You can order them anywhere. And let's see. Well, it's got broken headlights. Well, the tail. Oh yeah, the the one, two of the rear work lights are out. The front grill's been smashed in, obviously because it's a loader tractor. So that's common with that. 
Um, the exhaust pipe's slightly bent. Not a big deal. Fuck it. You can leave it as it is or get a new one and it'll be straight again, but... Um, that's it. It's really not too bad. I the paint's a little bit faded, but who cares about paint? We bought them to work them. We didn't buy them to show them. So... But yeah, that would be a nice damn tractor because fuck four wheel drive, heated cab, air, and you, and you know the heating in those tractors would be probably a little bit better than in these older ones. But I just don't think I'm I just don't think I'm going to pay that. I'm not paying thirty five thirty five k for that, you know. I suppose I would if I could take out a bank loan, but you know. Well, that tractor's also got some flaws too because you, you can't really see the, the rear of the tractor all the greatest because the seat's too far ahead. And when you look down towards the PTO or even the three point hitch, um, there's a, a bar in the window, in the lower half of the window, and you, you know, and that kind of gets in the way of if you wanted to run a baler, I think. So it's not the greatest tractor. But it'd be a damn good loader tractor. Fucking rights it would be. Four wheel drive, you could really plow through fucking snow with that. Put a blower on the bitch. I think that's... That's gotta be at least 110 horsepower. That's what it said online, so... It's a, you know, I'd be, I'd be happy with it, but... For now, anyway. But, no way. I can get a... Get my tractor in, in a loader for way less than that. Well, I'd be paying about 15k for it too. <laughs> if you think about it. But see, this is this is what's confusing. Well, not confusing. It's stupid because my tractor they want nine thousand for it, you know, plus a little bit for shipping. So say ten thousand. Okay, they want four to five hundred for the loader, give or take. So let's say fifteen. I mean, right there you're talking fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, well over there, where I want to buy my loader from, it's on a tractor right now, and they want fifteen thousand dollars for the whole thing, but the tractor's shit. So I don't want the tractor because, you know, I, I guess the tractor would be okay, but fuck that. I want a, I want a tractor that's got some real balls, you know. So I don't know. I'm either going to have to tell him to try to see if I can get him to move down on his loader price. Or I may be hunting for a loader somewhere else. So, I don't know. But, I mean, either way, you know, either way, you get, you get, you, you get kind of ripped off, you know. So, I'm going to have to see if I can talk him down on the price because I ain't paying that. That's just bullshit. I don't care if it's, you know... The cot, the labor to put it on my tractor, you know. I mean, think about it, man. You're freaking, you're adding that on top of that four thousand. It ain't gonna take you no damn ten hours, but I know they'll, they'll try to make it ten hours. To just, you know, get all the money they can. So I may try to tell them to hurry the hell up because I want this thing as soon as possible. I know you can do it under probably three hours. So. I'll just have to tell him that, hey, I'll be back in so-and-so one of time. You know, put the heat on him a little bit. Maybe they'll go a little bit quicker. Because you kind of have to show through that you're not going to really put up with their shit either. I mean, yeah, they're going to work their normal speed, but you can you can still get done in a few hours if you just have enough men working on it or if you just know what the hell you're doing. So, I mean, I'm sure they know what the hell they're doing. They just want all the money they can get. But... Yeah, I, it's even for a brand new loader. If you were to buy a brand new one somewhere, that will fit to those older tractors. You're still going to be paying a lot, I think. I just don't think it's worth it really to fight with anything because everything's too everything's too damn expensive. And then the farming, whatever the hell they call it, the farming thing went down. So the farmers are getting hurt by it. So the price of the equipment's going up. That's the thing. Starting to fucking rain again. It rained earlier too, and I was all spreading shit. So, but yeah. So I don't know. I may talk them down because I ain't. That's just. I mean, think about it, man. I have to put a thousand bucks worth of pipe, at least a thousand bucks worth of hoses put on it. Um, 
The bucket's going to probably need some attention. The mount's there for the bucket. You know, I have to put money in it, and i got to be able to, you know, save some of that money. And then, yet, i got to try to find either a veil spear or a grapple for it, so this will probably be a later on thing, but I have other things to invest in, too, man. Just because I'm coming, you know, cause I, just because I got money doesn't mean that you can take it all from me. You know. I don't care if you want to... You want to do it just because you want to make some money. Well, don't you think farmers want to make some damn money too? It doesn't mean you got to rip them off, you know. But that's what they'll do, I guess. So, but I want to try to talk them down on, on that loader price. At least, you know, thirty-five hundred or or, or three thousand. You know, what I, what I really should should be paying for that loader, if even that. So, but I'll try. You know, we're going to have to, I guess, kind of go back and forth on the price because I'm going to have to start them off with 2500 And if he thinks that's too low, well, then I'll jump it up to 3000 and be like, well, I think it's only worth about three to... I'm going to just say 3000 because if you say 3500 they'll say, oh, well, it's worth 3500 So, you know, you got to have to kind of... Just have to kind of be careful, I guess, I guess, on what you do. So I'm going to say 2500 if he doesn't like that offer, and then I'll go up a little bit, but I'm not going to go up to four thousand because that's just ridiculous. Just because the loader, the loader itself needs attention. Just apparently, the last farmers, you know, didn't care for it. They didn't bother to really taking too much good care of it. The loader would probably be worth four thousand bucks if it had all brand new hoses and and that didn't have that bucket issue. But since it's got that those issues. You know, I gotta be able to put money into it, so. And you sucking me dry isn't helping, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna talk him down on it, see what he says. If you don't like it, well, too bad. Think about the farmer, think about the people that have to, you know, make this kind of investment, you know. So. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna take off, so I guess I uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy. Thank mm -hmm. you.